here, buddy. We're doing it! We're doing it! Caution. Hey, Mike, I pushed a little late. Message. All right, just firing up right now. Okay, good. I might get started on my way over there so you can fly. see you fly by me. All right. I just do circles. <laughs> Message. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to get going so you don't have to sit with the flaps down on my wing. <laughs> Let's adjust that. Hey, guys, welcome back. It's uh, it's a Wednesday, the 27th of uh, April, and it's cold. Still 40, what is it, 47 degrees out right now? No, not even that warm. 38 degrees right now in Poplar Grove. What happened to spring? Let's get it going. One of the cool things about living in Papa Grove, or I guess any air park, you can walk right out, jump in your airplane, and go without having to drive to an uh, airport, open up hangars, all Message. that. So we uh, we always have a group chat. Things are going good. Guys are like, hey, Bessie's? I said, yeah. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Bessie's is a restaurant up in Janesville, Wisconsin. Not a very far flight for us. Pretty quick. It's right on the field, so it's easy to go up there, grab a little breakfast, visit with other uh, pilots. So uh, today, it just looks like the two of us, Mike uh, no, another Southwest pilot, and I are going to go up there. So thanks for joining. Should be kind of fun. I love these days when it's just a, a quick pop-up, and you're just like, hey, let's go fly. Boom. Walk right out your door, and off you go. Leaving altitude. First, I'm leaving altitude. Sitting on the ground. I'm adjusting my altimeter setting. And I had an altitude in there 300 feet for some reason. Yeah, so Janesville, which identifies KJVL or Kilo Juliet Victor Lima, just uh, north northwest of uh, Papa Grove here. It's only uh, 20 nautical miles. Really quick flight for us to uh, get up there. Temperatures are warming up on the engine. Still got the smoke hooked up in the back. I had the smoke tank. I made it uh, so it's easily removable. And uh, I had taken it out to do the sun and fun trip so I got room for my baggage. And then uh, obviously that sun and fun trip didn't happen due to the weather. In my schedule ignited so I put the smoke tank back in there looks like Mike just took off I see him on the uh, TCAS on my screen I forgot traffic here 36804 depending on my one two with
Looks like the winds are favoring one, two here at Papa Grove. Just got one aircraft just taking off there. Traffic. The school's arrow. So we'll taxi down to uh, one, two, depart to the south and turn back to the north. These homes right here on the main taxiway, they're really nice, right? I mean, they got a great view of the runways. Right off my right wing is the asphalt runway. It's 3,700 and change long, 3,012. Right now off my right wing is the 1,735 grass strip. And then across it, about halfway through, kind of hard to see from the video, I'm guessing, is uh, the more popular grass strip, which is runway 27, runway 9 parallels the hangars on the north side of the field. We love our taxiway, taxiway golf. We always joke around, all the groups on there, nobody parties like taxiway golf. Have a lot of fun. And, uh, but the ones here on the main taxiway are always nice because you got great views, especially during the nice weather days. Yeah, Mike flies a, uh, I want to say it's tealish color and cream color Citabria high wing. It's a little slower. Meant for landing short strips and bush wheels on it, ski. A little different than the RV series, but. Although I hear the RV 15, which is going to be coming out, it's going to be an aircraft that's supposed to be meant for backcountry flying. We haven't seen the details of it. I think it's going to be a high wing back country. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to do my run up and we'll uh, head out of here. Pop Grove traffic gate here. Mike Fox, right departing runway one, two at the north departure. Pop Grove. All right. Flight controls are free, correct? All lights are on, boost pumps on, pedo, uh, pedo heat's on, props to make sure full forward. Everything looks good. No traffic left, and no traffic right. 3,700 feet remaining. All right, line up a 1-2 heading looks good. 1,700 RPM, everything's in the green. Approaching runway 09. Speed you alive, there's 65. Yeah, we're airborne. Yeah, beautiful day. Bring the prop back, 2500. Oh, it's Final runway three six four. And by the prop back, somebody asked me that I'm controlling the RPMs of my engine. Cabria nine Lima uniform ten miles southeast inbound for landing with Zulu. Assuming broken one two thousand. Temperature two dew point minus six altimeter three zero three seven. Expect visual approach, land at Antibody Runway 32. Attention all aircraft, hazardous weather information is available on flight service station frequencies. Notice the airman, runway 422 is closed, runway 4 ILS out of service. Caution, men and equipment operating on in their movement area. Next way Alpha 1, Alpha 3, Fox Trot and Golf 4 are closed. Next way Alpha is closed between Next way Golf 3 and Approach Runway 4. Next way Alpha is also closed between Next way Fox Trot and Approach and Runway 22. Taxiway Charlie is closed between Taxiway Alpha and the print ramp. Airport advisories. All line of Bravo Taxiway is runway 32 and 36. All pilots read back or short instructions. VFR departures. Advise ground control on 121.65 of your direction of flight. 
Call the right voice contact tower on 118.8, at least seven nautical miles from the airport. Advise on our initial contact, you have information Zulu. All right, we got information Zulu there. Looks like they're running uh, runway 32. Janesville Tower Experimental 800, Mike Foxtrot. Experimental 800, Mike Foxtrot, Janesville Tower, good morning. Good morning, sir. Ten miles to the south, the southeast of the field, 3,000 inbound, Zulu. Zulu, Mike Foxtrot, report three out, be runway 3-2, you traffic to Tabia, inbound also from the southeast, about eight miles. Roger that. 3 2 it is. We'll call 3 out for United. Uh, excuse me, for uh, 800 Mike Park Show. No. I said United. Again. Okay, when I went up to Charlie James, we'll go runway 3 2. Text for your Bravo. I hate when I do that. You know, as a power for Tabria and nine lane uniform, three miles. Uh, you know, you always teach your students, you know, think about what they're going to say before. That goes through your whole career, so in your head, you think about, uh, well, in this case, I'm like, right, I got Zulu, I got to tell them where I'm at, what altitude, what I'm doing, I'm planning on landing full stop. You always think about it in your head. I get all that in my head, and then I'm so used to saying United, as well as 800 Mike Fox shots. It slips out every now and then. I'm a dork. Yeah, one Delta Charlie, Roger, hold short landing traffic. Holding short. Autopilot, disconnect. Leaving altitude. All right, I got runway three two in sight. First gump gas undercarriage mixture prop. Safety and seatbelts lights are all on. Boost pump's coming back on. Pedo heat's on. Hey, one Dr. Shaw, do you have room to get past the archer? Uh, negative, sorry. All right, Roger, number two, all short. Roger, one Dr. Shaw. Jeansville Tower, Skyhawk, 783 Echo Alpha, midfield left downward, runway 32. All right, 12 Guapa, runway 32, clear for the option, number one inside of traffic approach at three miles. Clear for the option, runway 32, number one, 783, Guapa. Hey Mike Fox, you're at three mile panel. Hey there, Mike Fox, I'll continue. All right, uh, 12 Guapa, Mehmet, uh, we'll make you number two. Yeah, continue on the downward report traffic on site two follow. Continuing on down, when number two, 783 Echo Alpha. Experiment 800 Mike Fox, right, runway 32, clear to land, when is 0607. 32, clear to land, 0 Mike Fox, right. All right, I'll keep the speed up a little bit for that traffic landing. All right, through the traffic on final flight. Coffee number two, following that traffic from my three two, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway three two, number two, 783 Oklahoma. 
And in ground one, Delta Charlie can take an intersection departure if uh, this guy's not ready in a bit. Okay, four tangle pop, how much more time you need? You think you can go ahead and uh, make a right turn out there so the uh, guy behind you can get past you? I'll see full stop for uh, Sierra Alpha. Sierra Alpha, Roger. Next row, zero Mike Fox, shot of able to turn left next taxiway. Say that's how you're on the airport. I'll make Bravo 3 going to Bessies. Bravo 3 left on Bravo Cross 4220 to the terminal. You can just monitor the ground point 65. All right, we'll monitor ground point 65. Bravo cleared to cross 42 into the terminal for United. Or excuse me, zero my picture. Page. I said it. <laughs> oh, I got to work on that, guys. I got to work on it. See, I did it again. That's what happens when you don't fly a lot. You fly a lot with uh, United. Don't fly a lot in this airplane right now. So cold and windy and rainy. Traffic. All right, we've been cleared to cross. Runway 422. And we're ground monitoring. Approaching runway clear left and clear right. Turn all the lights on. Entered runway 0422. Left on Bravo to parking, mount on the ground, point six five. Okay, one Delta Charlie, runway three two, clear for takeoff, get on course. Clear for takeoff, get on course. 